Now that we've seen the initial structure of the function, the next step is to talk about function arguments. Information may be passed to functions through an argument list. The argument list is a comma-delimited list of expressions that are evaluated from the leftmost item to the right. We will pass arguments into the function by placing them inside of parentheses, just after the function name definition. There are two methods of passing an argument in regards to how the argument value is affected by the function. The first is called passing by value, which is the default in PHP. In this case, the argument's value is not affected at all by the function outside of that function's scope. The other, which we'll not spend much time on in this course, is called passing by reference, which means that the value of an argument, if modified by the function scope, will be modified on the outside of that function scope as well. Now let's take a look at function arguments inside of code. So we'll create a function that we've already been using. So we'll do function hello, and then open and close. And then we're going to have the same in the middle, so the echo statement. And then that echo will be hello world. OK, exclamation point, single quote and then semicolon. So this is the function that we've had before, and we typically call this by saying just hello, and then open and close our parents, and then semicolon. So let's double check this. We'll open it up, and it is hello world. Okay. So in order to use function arguments, what we're going to need to do is go up to our hello, and we're going to give an argument inside of our parentheses. The argument we want to pass through is dollar sign $name. So dollar sign $name. And in here, we want to echo that name instead of world. Well, if we just did dollar sign name here, that wouldn't work because we have to have it inside of double quotes. So as long as I do this, now name will print to the screen. So in order to call this with name, we simply go down to hello and then pass through what we're expecting, which is a string. So I'll say Hampton. All right, so if I save this file, go back over to my previous screen and refresh, now it says, hello, Hampton, which is great. All right, go back over, and let's say we want to say a little bit more. So we'll just say, hello, and then, how is it going? So it's very easy for us to update our function, and then when we refresh, it'll be the same thing, just with more text. We can also change really quickly the name. So we'll just say, hello, Mike. Go back over and refresh. Now it says, Mike. Okay, so another thing we can do here is maybe pass multiple arguments in um, by using an array. So what we'll do is use this exact same function, but instead of just saying um, hello to a name, we'll expect it to be an array. So we'll just call it uh, ARR for arrays. Uh, then we're going to use just the name variable inside of an array. Well, how do we know what we're going to do? Let's just say that every single one of these items is going to be a name, and we want to say hello to them. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that it actually is an array. So that's very easy with a conditional statement. So we'll do if, and then we'll say is, which is an internal function, array. So if is array, and then we pass through our actual variable, ARR, or our argument. And if it is an array, then we're going to go and uh, do something with that data. Uh, else, if it's not, what we're just going to do is skip it completely and just say, hello, friends. So we'll do echo and then hello, comma, friends. Close that with a semicolon, and that should take care of it. Now, what we're going to do is cut this line for right now. And now, inside of the if statement, we actually want to loop through um, our array. So we do that with a previous statement that we've learned, which is the for each. So for each and then uh, array as and then dollar sign name. Then we can go inside by uh, adding our curly braces and then paste in our previous code. Tab that in for cleanliness. And now it will actually echo hello and then use the dollar sign name here from line five and then pass that through. So hello name, how's it going? Let's see if this works. Okay, right now, it wouldn't because it would just say, hello, friends, because it's not an array. Let's actually see how that uh, degradates, see if it does nicely. So we'll go ahead and hit the preview button, and then you'll see it says, hello, friends. 
So we'll go back over, and now instead of doing just Mike here, let's say we'll create a names array. So we'll do names equals, and then we'll say array, and then inside that array, we'll close it out first, and here we're going to have a couple of names. So we'll do Hampton, and we'll do a comma on the next line just for cleanliness. We'll say Mike, and We'll do one more, Charlie. Okay, so we'll save that and then go back to our preview and hit refresh. All right, so you can see it's doing Hello Hampton, Hello Mike, and Hello Charlie. Of course, there's no new lines after each one. So what I'll do is come up here to my echo statement and I'll just add a uh, HTML break tag here and save that. Let's see if that fixes it for us. Perfect. So Hello Hampton, Hello Mike, and Hello Charlie. So there you can see in code how we can take an array of values, in this case name, and loop through them in a function. So simply by calling hello and then passing through an array, we now have multiple hellos from a single function.